Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. I'm located in beautiful Whitefish, Montana, and you can find the written version of this post on my website shown on the screen. If you find today's content useful, please hit that subscribe button and share it through LinkedIn or other social media. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting custom expressions. Working with custom expressions in Spotfire can be tricky. Perhaps you're trying different combinations of syntax and you just get errors. At times, Spotfire error messages are helpful, but other times they're just gibberish. How do you know exactly what's getting passed through the expression? There is a way to find out, and that's what I'm going to show you. And that way is real simple. You take your expression and you copy and paste it into the description section of the general menu in any visualization properties dialog. I have three examples to walk through with you today and we are going to work on this bar chart. And you can see I've already thrown one in there, which is not the expression that I actually want to use. So I'm gonna grab an expression and I'll go to my properties dialog. When you're in the dialog, you'll see the expression syntax, kind of the raw version, if you will. But even without closing the properties dialog, you can see what this translates to in Spotfire. In this case, I am referencing a property control called listbox multi and I'm using the escape function in order to put square brackets around whatever's being passed through the property control. This has the effect of making sure that it's treated like a column name. And then I am also wrapping a sum around that column name. So my expression is sum of actual revenue and budget revenue. And just to make sure that this is clear, I'll jump over to where my property control is. So you can see I have a column called actual revenue and a column called budget revenue. And what this expression is doing is it's adding what's in actual and budget. And I was, uh, I was working on some data limiting and essentially I wanted to limit records where the values were not equal to zero. And I was kind of struggling with that a little bit. And so I used this troubleshooting tactic in order to figure out how Spotfire was interpreting my syntax. So let's take another one. And again, you can see that I'm referencing the listbox multi. I'm using the escape function, but now I've also applied the map function. And the map function creates a bit of a template for expressions. And so it's taking what is being passed through the property control. And then as you can see up here, it is using the not equal to zero. And then the template part is the and. So I'm getting actual revenue not equal to zero and budget revenue not equal to zero. Both of these expressions were written correctly. Let me go grab a different one that was not written correctly. And I'll punch that in here. And in this case, I'm still using the map and the escape functions, but I've written my template incorrectly. And you can see here that it's saying actual revenue not equal to zero and then my and comes before a comma, and then I kind of get left with another and out here. And essentially what I did was uh, the and was placed in the wrong spot, which is really easy to see if I bring in the second or my original correct answer. So here's the wrong function, and then here is the right one. And I'm able to use this description column in order to help me figure that out. So that's my little tip or trick for the week. If you find it useful, please subscribe and share. Thanks y'all, have a good week.